Hi, I'm James with Ideal Calibrations, and today we're going to be looking at how to diagnose an oxygen sensor that's gone bad on you, what to look for. There's a few major ones. I've got a monitor here that's having an issue. The oxygen sensor is totally dead. So let's turn it on, go through a quick startup. Now this one's totally dead. It's going to pop up showing that. I hope you can see that. Missing sensor. Now, I'm going to silence that. There's two other things you, that you'll see when it comes on. One is that when you turn it on and you try and zero the unit by pressing and holding that button, it's going to come up and give you a zero fail. And we'll say that it's not going to work. The other thing it will do is, and it won't, it won't go up past 20.9. It sometimes it won't even get up past 18. It won't get up to, say, 15, 12, 10. It'll give you a low, real, real low reading. Now, what that usually means is that the sensor is just kind of degraded over time, and it's gotten old, and it died. Usually when it says missing sensor like this, it means there's a catastrophic failure somewhere within the sensor. The other thing you'll see is that the sensor will be up above 30%, and it'll be giving you an over-range reading. And it'll keep blinking that, and it won't come down. And no matter how many times you try and zero it, it won't come down. And what that means is you need to replace the sensor. So what uh, I'll show you guys in the next video is how to actually replace that sensor. Now that video is going to be available on idealcalibrations.com. Feel free to check it out at your time, and I'll provide a link in the comments. Thanks, and have a great day.